Hey guys, Aggie here, and today I'm going to show you how to um, install a CLR plugin in order to use Twitch Alerts when you stream so that it pops up, has an image and audio file pop up when you get a follower, when you get a subscription, when you get a donation, etc. etc. So let's get started. First of all, in order to get the CLR plugin for OBS, you're going to open well, you're going to go to Google. Um, you can go ahead and search CLR plugin. And most likely, your first option, um, as shown here, is going to be CLR browser source plugin. Go ahead and click that, and you will be brought to an open broadcast software uh, website where you can download the CLR browser source plugin. Uh, now, with this, you're going to have to play with it a little. Um, I found that for some reason, the 32 bit plugin works for most people even if you're positive you have the 64 bit OBS um, and on a very rare occasion the 64 bit plugin actually works for some reason for example the 32 bit only works for me but anyways um, if you need to there this website also has how to install the plugins demonstrated right here and it has easy list by list steps but essentially what you're going to do is you're going to click on the 32-bit uh, link. Um, it'll start downloading and of course your, how your download is going to work is going to vary depending on what browser you're using. Um, and I'm using Google Chrome so it shows up nice and neat down here. So I'm going to open it up and your best bet for opening up is WinRAR. Um, if you don't have WinRAR and you just have WinZip, I would get WinRAR because for some reason it's some strange J file that people have trouble opening but WinRAR will open it with no difficulties. So what you're going to do is when it opens up it's going to give you a folder that's CLR host plugin and CLR host plugin DLL. From here you can go ahead and go to your computer, um, open up the program file wherever OBS is and open up your plugins folder. Um, you can go, I already have it here of course, but you can go ahead and drag and drop the CLR host plugin folder into your OBS plugins folder and also the CLR host plugin DLL. Um, next comes the fun part. It's actually quite simple I find. Um, you can go ahead and close out the download. Um, Lee, I would leave open your plugins folder just in case. Uh, next, what you're going to do is, I already have it open of course because I'm recording this, but you would go ahead and open up OBS. If this plugin downloaded correctly, you can go to your plugins and it will show up as CLR host plugin. If it did not download correctly, um, or you need, actually do need the 64-bit version, you will get some kind of error when you go to add the CLR scene, which we will do source, which we will do momentarily. Um, if your plugin isn't showing, it most likely means that you did not put the folder or the CLR host plugin.dll in the correct place, so double check on that. Um, also, sometimes um, the OBS, when you open it, won't show the plugin. So try opening it directly from your programs file and it should be there. Anyways, moving on, as if when everything's set to go and you have your CLR host plugin, go, uh, the way a Twitch alert is added depends on what Twitch you are actually logged into. So if you go ahead, I actually have it saved up here, if you go ahead and go to twitchalerts.com. Uh, it will take you to the main Twitch Alerts page and you will press launch Twitch Alerts. Um, this, for this I'm logged into GTGN streaming which is the Twitch Alert link a lot of you will be using until you move to the main channel. Um, in order to get this Twitch Alert link you must have login access to whatever Twitch you want your Twitch Alerts to be connected to. Um, so to get this link, please get with anyone who has access, such as myself, to log in to the GTGN streaming or the Grievance streaming Twitch channels. So once you're at the Twitch Alerts dashboard, you're going to go to Alert Box. 
and it's going to show a nice widget plugin and all your alert box how to etc etc so now what you're going to do once you have that link is you're going to go back over to your OBS and under your sources you're going to right click the background go to add and go to CLR browser um, like always for when you add anything it'll ask you for a nice little name on what you want to call it I'm just going to leave it CLR browser CLR browser now it is next going to give you the CLR configuration window um, in general where your URL says www.obsproject.com you're going to go ahead and plug in this twitch alerts widget link so let's go ahead and do that you can change the opacity which will decide how um, thick and cleanly the alert will show up if you wish to but I don't mess with any of that um, once your URL is in place you can go ahead and press OK and now if you go to edit scene uh, well first you're going to start a preview which because I'm recording I can't um, and you can already see what's going on for me um, then you would go to edit scene and your twitch alerts box is going to come up as just a clear box for now uh, go ahead and put that where you would want on your stream most likely in the center um, for this next part you, it's also preferred that you test it which will you will need the help of someone with logon access to the twitch for um, but it's pretty easy just leave your stream in preview setting uh, under your alert boxes and twitch alerts go to test follow press test follow alert and it will tell you that the alert will appear in 30 seconds which is cool because it also appears in preview so if this alert shows up it means we installed twitch alerts correctly <laughs> And there we go, there's your Twitch alert. Um, this can be, of course, done with any Twitch, and you can adjust your settings for now. I just had it with a star, and it showed the example name and has followed. Um, but anyways, that is how to install the CLR browser into OBS and get your Twitch alerts hooked up. Um, this is Eggy from Grievance, and stay safe, everybody.